the 300 million year old wheel discovered deep in a mine and anomalous ancient tracks across the world in 2008 a curious find was discovered down a coal mine in the ukrainian city of donetsk as it could not be safely or successfully cut out due to the nature of the sandstone the mysterious artifact looking much like an ancient wheel remains incited down the mine. The following article is extracted from The Myth of Man by J.P. Robinson, Smexel. Whilst drilling the coal coking stratum named J3, Sukodolsky, at a depth of 900 meters to 952, 76 feet from the surface, workers were surprised to find what appears to be the imprint of a wheel above them in the sandstone roof of the tunnel that they had just excavated. Coal mine after D.F. Melnikov, Lysychansk, Luhansk Oblast, Ukraine. Thankfully, photographs of the unusual imprint were taken by the deputy chief Viv Kruzhilin and shared with the mine foreman S. Kasatkin, who brought news of the find to light. Without being able to further explore the site and inspect the imprint at close hand, we are left with only the photographs as evidence of their existence. There was more than one imprint and the word of a group of Ukrainian miners. Without being able to definitively date the strata in which the fossilized wheel print was found, it has been noted that the Rostov region surrounding Donetsk is situated upon Carboniferous, rock aged between 360 million years ago, and the widely distributed cooking coals have derived from the middle to late carbon imprint, suggesting a possible age of the imprint at around 300 million years old. This would mean that an actual wheel became stuck millions of years ago and dissolved over time due to a process called diagenesis, where sediments are lithified into sedimentary rocks, as is common with fossil remains. The following is an extract from a letter written by S. Kasatkin translated from Ukrainian, in reference to his testimony of having been witness to the anomalous wheel imprint discovered by his team of miners in 2008. This finding is not a PR action. In due time 2008 we as a team of engineers and workers asked the mine director to invite scientists for detailed examination of the object. But the director, following the instructions of the then owner of the mine, prohibited such talks and instead only ordered to accelerate work on passing through this section of lava and on fast charging of the section with mining equipment. Owing to that, this artifact and the smaller one found during further work came to be in a tunnel blockage and could not be taken out and studied. It is good that there were people who, in spite of the director's prohibition, photographed this artifact. I have connections with the people who first discovered these imprints, and also with those who photographed them. We have more than a dozen witnesses. As you understand, the admission in the mine is strictly limited. It is dangerous on sudden emissions, and to obtain such permit is rather difficult. The wheel was printed on sandstone of the roof. Guys drifters tried to cut away the find with pick hammers and to take it out to the surface. But sandstone was so strong firm that, having been afraid to damage a print. They have left it in place. At present, the mine is closed. Officially since 2009, and access to the object is impossible. The equipment is dismantled, and the given layers are already flooded. With only this written testimony, and that of the other. Witnesses, the photographs remain the only proof of this anomalous imprint. But it must be deemed worthy of mention despite any difficulties verifying the details, beyond that which you have read. For if the photographic evidence is indeed legitimate, then one must question how a man-made wheel became embedded in such ancient strata, when, according to scientific orthodoxy, man had not even evolved yet. Ancient tracks evidence for the existence of wheeled vehicles in antiquity has surfaced. In other parts of the world, as petrified ancient tracks found in France, Spain, Italy, Malta, Kazakhstan, Ukraine, and even North America reveal a prehistoric site known formally as Misra Gar il Kabur, meaning the Great Cave in Maltese, and commonly referred to as Clafum Junction, is located at Sagiwi, near the Dingley Cliffs in Malta. It is at this now famous site that what have been termed cart ruts cut into the limestone have mystified all that have visited the area. Likewise, a number of unusual tracks and stone are also visible on the island of Sicily at the Greek.
Amphitheater called the Great Theater of Syracuse. Interestingly, most archaeologists have suggested that the Maltese tracks were probably created by Sicilian settlers who traveled to Malta around 2000 BC at the start of the Bronze Age. Yet more tracks are to be found in Turkey. Some at Sofa cover an area roughly 45 by 10 miles, 72.42 by 16.09 kilometers, and also in Cappadocia, where several pockets of tracks can be seen. The many ruts discovered around the world have caused a great deal of controversy as to their purpose, age, and origin. These mysterious factors remain up for debate, but due to the association and close proximity with megalithic structures, in Malta, particularly, and due to the fact that many tracks are now submerged below the sea, many researchers have concluded that the fossilized lines show signs of great antiquity. Part rut tracks in Sofa, Turkey. Bizarrely, considering the anomalous wheel print discovered in Ukraine that we have just discussed, a medieval city fortress in the Crimean Mountains of Ukraine, called Chufut Kale, lies in ruins but also plays host to a number of cart ruts in stone like those at the nearby site of Eski Kerman. Dr. Alexander Koltepin is a geologist and director of the Natural Science Research Center at Moscow's International Independent University of Ecology and Politology. He has spent a great deal of time visiting these sites and comparing them to one another in search of similarities. He first saw tracks in stone, fossilized car or terrain vehicle traces, usually called cart ruts, on Neogen Plantation surface Peneplain and Phrygian Plain in May 2014, central Anatolia, Turkey. They were situated in the field of development of middle and late Miocene tufts and tuffites and according to age. Analysis of nearby volcanic rocks had middle Miocene age of 14 million years, wrote Koltepin. This particular region, which Koltepin has researched further, is relatively unknown, and the guidebooks offer nothing in the way of information. Whilst Orthodox researchers claim that the tracks are simply the remnants of old petrified cart ruts, from the kind of wheeled vehicles which donkeys or camels would have pulled, Koltepin has other ideas. I will never accept it, he explained when confronted. With the standard explanations, I myself will always remember. Many other inhabitants of our planet wiped from our history. Radit I.R. Roti, Cart Ruts, Zemxia Heritage Trail in Sti.T. Paul's Bay, Malta. Upon measuring the width and length of the tracks at the Phrygian Valley site, he is convinced that they were created by vehicles of a similar length to modern cars, but with tires 9 inches 22.86 centimeters wide. With the depth of the impressions of the tracks in stone exceeding that which one, one would associate with small carts, Coltepin maintains that the vehicles responsible must have been much heavier. He theorizes that whichever civilization drove the heavy vehicles that created the tracks were most likely responsible for the many different but identical roads, ruts and underground complexes which are scattered around the entire Mediterranean more than 12 million years ago, aware that the process of petrification can occur within a relatively short period. Koltepin insists that the heavy mineral deposits which coat the tracks and the visible erosion are suggestive of a greater antiquity, along with the surrounding underground cities, irrigation systems, wells, and more, which also show signs of being millions of years old. Koltepin wrote on his website we are dealing with extremely tough lithified petrified sediments, covered with a thick layer of weathering that takes millions of years to develop, full of multiple cracks with newly developed minerals in them, which could only emerge in periods of high tectonic activity. It is evident that much research is needed to clarity the age and origin of the many tracks that are being discovered at multiple geographical locations, and as easy as it is to simply state that they are the product of old carts which once trundled through these parts, further investigation may well reveal far more complex and remarkable explanations which could well correlate with the mysterious remnants of an unknown ancient civilization, as postulated by Alexander Koltepin. The sheer presence of the fossilized wheel found in the Ukraine is certainly suggestive of the fact that the ancients may have had access to more technology and know-how than is currently accepted. Thank you for your curiosity, and thank you for your most valuable time. Please share subscribe for more.